Welcome back to Two Sticks, guys. Uh, my name is Scott. Believe it. And we're going to hit you with another song reaction today. Uh, this is Belita. You want to introduce Greta me? Van Fleet, Lover, Lever, Taker, Believer. So this is another song by Greta Van Fleet. Um, this one will have a video. So <laughs> don't worry about that. Season two off to a strong start. Season two off to a strong start here. What do you know about this? I guess this is a live video. So yeah. instead of a traditional music video, this is going to be a live performance, which is cool. I like which, that. Yeah, and they, they're, they put a lot of energy in it. I, what attracted me to the video was the clothes. I'm like, holy shit, we are really, excuse my language, we are really flashing back to the 70s here, right? Yeah. Um, he's, he's em, you know, they're emulating Led Zeppelin, they're emulating Aerosmith and, and all, the, all the bands of that era in, in not just the music, in not just the singing, but in the looks too. In, in the looks of the clothes and everything. So that was really cool, very retro. So it's a literal time capsule. You're watching him. You can pretend in your mind. You're like, man, yeah, this is like the '70s. It's more like a Doctor Who episode where you know, Doctor Who and the rock band. You know, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna go ahead and get it started here. I said the love of rock and roll and for the sake of rock and roll, six songs gone. Is that a fake British accent? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted striking pants. I always wanted striking pants. About these guys, you know how young that guy is, that the lead singer. He yeah, looks like, like 21, 20, 20 yeah, something. 20, yeah. 21. These guys are going to be able to do this for the next 30 years. I know. That's so crazy. If, if man. I mean, it's such nah. an early start. Like this, these guys look like they're in college. Right. Let me let now. Let's let's not jinx them. You know what I mean? No, no airplane crashes, no drug overdoses, none of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. If you got, if you guys can stay focused on the music. And, and avoid, you know, I mean, hopefully avoid uh, many of the pitfalls. You are looking at a long career uh, ahead of you, and you're going you're gonna to actually join several generations. So. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean everything from, you know, but I don't think they're they're putting on an act. I think they really like this music. It's like you're not putting on an act by by being a rapper if you do a rap. You're not putting on an act pretending to be from the Middle Ages if you do classical music, right? Yeah. You're doing that genre of music. These guys aren't putting on an act. They're not pretending to be doing this kind of music. They they grew up listening to it. They genuinely like it. It's the the two brothers on the side and remember, this is also a family thing, right? It's like Robert Plant is sandwiched between two Jimmy Pages. <laughs> you know, all the way down to the body language of, of and the way they're dressed. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's just an amazing sound. And uh, 
I think they're bringing a lot of happiness into into the rock scene right now. Yeah, well, I'm going to say happy. they can't dislike it if they're wanting to go on stage and play it and play it every night, you know, different venues and release a CD. I mean, they've got to like the music, but it's just, I get what you're saying. Sometimes people mm-hmm. hop on trends, musicians do, to kind mm-hmm. of sell records. And you can tell that's not what these guys are doing. Like, these guys are authentic. This is really who they want to be. You know, they found their sound. Right. And they're exploding onto this. Now, right now they now. may start a trend. They may they may inspire some copycats. That's which true. Be really interesting. That's true. But I think that's a good thing. moments in the song because what do you call this you know it's not a chorus it's not a verse it's not a bridge Mm, it's like they just dialed back everything and the guy's just flexing his vocal muscles it's an intermission yes an intermission the guitarist is flexing his muscles with the riffs and it's just beautiful when when bands do that i don't know i've heard other bands do that i can't remember (laughs) off the top of my head i wish i had an example but i really like that in the song let's have do it Led Zeppelin would do it a yeah. lot. Of, wait, sure. wait, now, now, it's a couple, couple of points I want to bring up. Okay, you saw there's that one section when he looked over. I mean, they're all brothers in the front row. You know, that's also a very interesting dynamic. You don't get a lot of that. Um, you might see it with like pop bands or boy bands or something, but we are literally talking about a family and their best friend on stage, right? And there's a part when the, the singer turns and he makes eye contact with, with the, his brother before he goes into the guitar. There, there's this like energy going back and forth. And that, that's the type of energy you get when, when they grew up together and they can finish each other's sentences, you know? Yeah. And it's really awesome to, to watch on stage. And um, what, you know what surprised me about the audience is uh, uh, it's, it's all young people. You don't see that many older people, you know? Uh, I think it would be just awesome if, if they receive such a following from both the older and younger generation that you go to a stadium and you see people that are separated by 40 years enjoying the music. That would be so cool. That would be an awesome thing. Yeah, that's a great point because, I mean, people, like we've said before, people pass down music and families and there are definitely kids under 10 years old discovering mm-hmm. Led Zeppelin for the first time right now, and they're going to like Led Zeppelin until they're adults. You know what's crazy? So, they're going to discover Led Zeppelin and Greta Van Fleet at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> and they're going to have conversations like, man, what do you think? Like, what do you think about who's the better vocalist? Those Zeppelin guys copied Greta Van Fleet, man. They're just <laughs> oh, ripping <yeah>. it off. <laughs> yeah, they should. Yeah, Robert Plant should take vocal lessons from this guy. <laughs> oh, we Robert Plant comment later. One of them 
I'm still in high school. It's gotta be the local person, dude. No, he's, he's 21. song on this channel that would be a good a good song to do I, I got another comment to make your new stereo system mm -hmm. hearing this I've never heard this in, in this type of stereo system it even sounds so much better it's fantastic this gives me an even greater appreciation of what they're doing and um, uh, you know the, the the look with the vest and the Native American look I know he's not Native American not not to my knowledge their last name uh, sounds Polish to me you know or Hungarian or something like that. So I don't know if, if he's gonna get crap for cultural appro appropriation, but, <laughs> but I know he doesn't That'll mean any terrible. harm, you know? God. But uh, on the other hand, Please. on the other hand, like if I was Native American, I'm like, all right, if something this cool is gonna culturally appropriate me, you know, we'll, we'll go, We'll go tour with them or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they're probably like, thanks for bringing awareness to uh, our culture and to our religion. And I think the beads you know, are plastic, really though. <laughs> Maybe. I want to know where this guy on the right here got his uh, striped pants from. Because that is so... That's had, Wasn't that a thing in like the 80s? That's... that's pants like that? It's a thing in the 70s, the striped 70s. pants. And and the eighties, I mean maybe maybe they're like um trimmed down bodybuilder well, pants. You know what? In the eighties pants got a little bit looser, didn't they? Oh my they baggies, got a lot dude. Baggy, yeah. You see me, I hang out in my baggies still. You know? Yeah. So yeah, that's probably the seventies then. So yeah. And then we got we got red velvet pants over there. I mean that's crazy. it's so it's so over the top accurate replica of everything. If you didn't look at the audience, and if you didn't look at some of the more modern stereo lighting system, you would think you were in the 70s, which is a bit of a trip for me here. And they've all got uh, vests on, so you can see their stomachs and stuff. <laughs> Women love that stuff, man. They, hey, if, they uh, know that. If I wear my vest, we would scare away uh, yeah. <laughs> patrons. So. Like, no, <laughs> put that away. Hey, man, you guys are young. Rock it, you know. Yeah. If you if you got the, the if you got it, rock it. That's all I can say. <laughs>
crescendo finish. Rubber looks tired, man. They're, they're, they're all you putting out in wind back there. Oh man, man. Holy crap. That was just something else. What do you think of that? It's amazing, man. You know what? I think these guys would kill at like a rock festival. You know, I don't know how many rock festivals there are still. I know there are some. I know a big one recently kind of went not bankrupt, but they stopped. They discontinued it. I forgot what it was called anyway. Mm. But uh, yeah, I think I I think of a band like this. I think of it being like May. It's outside, May or August, it's outside, mm, mm. and people are drenched with sweat, and they're drunk, and there's weed floating around, <laughs> and there's like, you know, 50, 60,000 people there at the festival. They're playing on one of the main stages, and they're playing this song, and people are going fucking ape shit, Bonkers. going crazy. However, yeah. however, if they do want to play the Blue Note, I am there. Yes. You know? Uh, uh, <clears throat> Couple things I want to say. Um, wh one big thing that launched this band into the public consciousness was there was a point when there was a show somewhere where Robert Plant was being interviewed, you know, fairly recently, and, and they asked him, "What are you listening to these days?" And he goes, "Well, there, there's a band called Greta Van Fleet. They're Led Zeppelin." Really, he says the 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 singer claims to be influenced by by Aerosmith, and he kind of rolls his eyebrows, but they're Led Zeppelin. And then everyone's like, who the hell are these guys, right? And blammo. Um, I, really, I really like the fact that they're bringing this sound back so strong in, you know, with, with the authentic look, the authentic sound. They've got the musicians all have the skill to back up the singer. The singer, um, like I said, I think a lot of this is he was born that way. He was born with that voice, but he's doing something with it. So more power to you, bro. More power yeah. to you. And I think his voice, you know, he can get away with doing the, the screeching thing because, you know, Robert Plant already kind of laid the groundwork for that. So if he does, like, you notice for long portions of the song, there weren't really any lyrics. Just like, He was just doing uh, these uh, different, like, yeah, exactly. Moaning sex sounds, moaning, kind of. <laughs> yeah. He can do that because that's already, people accept that already. Yeah. I think when Robert Plant was doing it, it was a little bit more edgy. and People were like, holy crap, this guy sounds like he's having sex on stage. Do I want my daughter going to see that guy? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> right. You probably don't want your daughter he, seeing these guys. <laughs> but this guy does this, does what he does very, very well, man. It's just really well pulled off. And like you said, the whole band, I think, is good. I was really impressed specifically with the guitar player. I thought his playing was fantastic. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you're a musician, what, what do you say about it, what he's doing? Well, I think he's, uh, it's, it's difficult because he's, what he's doing looks, may look to some people like it's a little bit sloppy because it's a little bit like, especially for a long portion of the song, it sounded like he was improvising, and he probably was improvising yeah, this, this a lot of that. Yeah, this is probably an extended version. Yeah, but um, I think it's, he found a way to make it tolerable and make it enjoyable and make it fun. I mean, it's a lot of times when you get guitarists on stage and they have to noodle or improvise for extended periods, it can get really boring and really lame, and I didn't feel like that at all with this. I felt like the whole time my interest was kept with the music, so... I think he did a great job. The slide guitar, I don't know as much about that, but I know it is incorporated in a lot of classic rock and a lot of blues. So. Delta blues. Yeah, so I think that's... Um, I'm not surprised to see that he has that. But yeah, I thought that the riffs he were playing, was playing were great, and the, him and the drummer were well synced, uh, synced up too because um, you'd have these long periods, like I said, with him kind of playing around, and then you notice they'd come back together for a big drum hit and he'd hit those powerful chords yeah. and they'd play for yeah. a little like it was a more regular song so oh all i can say man is it, i i'm really impressed with their this is their freshman album basically yeah is it even an album i don't know but uh i'm really impressed you've brought a lot of good things back and you're bringing a lot of new things to the table and the funny thing about it is even with all the led zeppelin comparisons the only time that they don't sound a hell of a lot like zeppelin is the led zeppelin covers they do when they do the Led Zeppelin covers, you're like, they're not that much like Ze Zeppelin. They actually do have a very unique sound, you know. 
And uh, so, yeah, Greta Van Fleet, thanks for bringing this back. Thanks for taking it forward. Um, I'm expecting a lot of good stuff from you guys, so don't don't let the fans down. You've made a fan here. I don't know about you, but I'm a fan. Yeah, I like it. I think it's great. I want these guys to have all the success that's coming to them, and it's going to be a lot of success. <laughs> all right. Especially once their sophomore album hits, I can't imagine right. what the anticipation is going to be like for that thing. So hopefully they'll give us like 50 minutes of music. I think this first album, I think there was about 30 minutes. Am I wrong? 30, 35 minutes. Anyway, guys, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments section. How's that? But uh, yeah, I was impressed. I like it. So, uh, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm Belita. And for Two Sticks, we'll see you guys next time.